Hey, hey, what's up guys? JWisp here and welcome to episode 7 of the Minecraft 1.18 Survival Let's Play. Whew, I've been getting a lot of excitement to work in this world just because things are turning out really nicely. And in the last episode, we worked on what you see over there. We made some sort of medieval horse stables. I'm not really sure, but they look pretty cool. And we also put a nice little decorative pond next to it. How are you doing today, Loki? Yeah, I really like these horse stables. They're a nice start to what will become eventually our giant kingdom across this entire meadow biome. I'm super excited. But in this episode, I have some really fun plans. Towards the end of last episode, we enchant we did our first level 30 enchantment, and we got this pickaxe. Efficiency 4 and Fortune 2. Not the best, but still pretty good. The main thing I'm excited about is Fortune 2, because, you know, Fortune is a... Uh, Fortune's pretty awesome. And as you can see, I also have a decent amount of XP here. So, I want to hopefully do some enchantments. The only downside is, we don't have any diamonds. Now, I do have a grindstone, so if I wanted to, I could do a level 30 enchantment on my axe, sword, or shovel. I don't really care about my axe and shovel just because I don't use them too much. I use them occasionally, but I'm not too concerned about them. Definitely my sword, though, and I would like enough diamonds to make a full set of diamond armor. We have enough XP right now that we can do three level 30 enchantments, but we also have our spider XP farm not too far away if I want to do some more. So with that, I think it's time to put our fortune pickaxe to use and uh, do a little bit of mining. Now the last mining trip we took wasn't too successful. We got some iron and whatnot, but we didn't really get any diamonds. We went in that direction, so I think this time I'll go in that direction, that direction, or that direction. I don't know yet, <laughs> I'll just have to decide. But yeah, one thing I'm really excited about now that we have fortune is not only that, you know, we can get more diamonds, but Fortune now works on copper, Fortune works on the new iron, and the new gold. So that means we can get even more gold, even more iron, and even more copper. So, all of our ores are pretty much going to increase. I'm trying to think, actually, does Fortune work on every ore now? Because it works on coal, iron, gold, copper, diamonds, emeralds. Um... I think it pretty much does. Redstone, Lapis, I believe it does work. I don't know, let me know down below. If you guys can think of any ores that Fortune doesn't work on now, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure it also does apply to Quartz and Nether Gold. But I'm not too well versed in Fortune, so I don't know. Anyways, besides all of that and my plans for today's episode, the things that we've got going on in this world have been pretty nice. Everything's gone well. I mean, we've had a lot of nice luck in this world and we've created some pretty awesome builds and I'm really excited I still have yet to find a name I know I've been saying I've been trying to find a name for this world I still just haven't decided this world is really special to me and I can tell that this is going to be a really big really exciting and really long-lasting series and so I really want a good name for this world I've definitely seen some people comment some names that I really enjoy but maybe I just haven't found the one yet or I haven't decided. I still need to think about it. But I will have a name for this world sometime soon. But if you guys have any good name suggestions for our Minecraft world, let me know down in the comments below. So we need to head back to my house and I need to grab myself all the materials I need for mining. I really don't need that much. I'm pretty much just going to grab maybe some wood in case I need to do some crafting. Uh, torches and of course a water bucket because you know, always need a water bucket when mining. Okay, we have some torches. Let's bring like... 12 logs, that's definitely enough. Actually, I'll bring a little bit more. 18. Uh, do I have any more torches? Actually, you know what? We can just make some. We can just make some torches. We should be good. I forgot that I should have... Do I still have... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I smelted the iron. I don't think I ever really did some smelting since the last episode. I've pretty much just kept everything inside of its chest. So, uh, I guess we can, we can do a little smelting. Let's throw some raw copper in there to smelt while we're gone. And let's make some torches and head out on our mining trip. Okay, so like I said before, originally when we did our first big mining trip, we went in that direction. I know that in that direction, we have some beaches, and then it's just an ocean biome. So I think I'll stay away from there. This direction is pretty much just meadow biomes, as far as the eye can see. And this direction goes into a dark oak forest, and then a spruce forest, taiga biome. So I think what I'm going to do is just head in this direction. Uh, we already mined underneath the pillager outpost, which is in this direction, and we mined a good amount there. That's actually where our spider XP farm is, and we found our first spawner. Uh, however, you know, we still haven't done a ton of mining in that area. We mostly just did the spider farm, so we can still do a bit of mining there. So I'll probably head to around there. Maybe I'll go a little past the pillager outpost. I don't really know. What I'm going to try to do is try to find myself a nice cave entrance that leads to a really deep and big cave. That's my ultimate goal. But if I can't, you know, I can always just mine straight down and uh, we'll be okay. 
Now look, people always yell at me for mining straight down, but I'm telling you, if you go to your music settings and turn on subtitles, it shows you which direction sounds are coming from. And if you have these on, mining straight down is pretty safe. I mean, in 1.18, it's a little more dangerous just because previously the only thing you had to worry about was falling into lava when mining straight down. But now you also have to worry about fall damage, and that definitely is a concern. However, if you keep a water bucket in your offhand, uh, and you're good at doing the MLG water bucket, I think you are definitely skilled enough to keep yourself alive. Plus, if you do happen to fall into lava, you can just uh, use your water bucket quickly. But with the new 1.18 cave generation, I'm not too sure. I haven't done a lot of mining in 1.18, so... You know, now that some caves are really large and go really deep, fall damage might be a true concern, and subtitles can't show you where caves are, at least they can sometimes, but you don't know how big they are, and so fall damage might be a new concern, so maybe, just maybe, I'll finally avoid digging straight down. People always used to yell at me for digging straight down, saying it was the most dangerous thing you could do in Minecraft. But I always did it anyways, and uh, I proved them wrong, that it really wasn't dangerous. But now, I feel like it might actually be a true danger, which is why I feel like Feather Falling 4 is going to be one of the most important enchantments for the new update. Just because, I don't know, previously no one really used Feather Falling 4. It's a nice enchantment, but no one really strived to get it. But especially with these new caves and giant cliffs and huge caves, you know, stuff like that. I think that Feather Falling 4 is going to be really useful. Dang, I forgot about these dudes. Come on. Oh, we got him. Okay. Might be what we're looking for. I'm not sure, though. I have to be I have to be very, very careful. Let's eat some bread. Does this go down deep? Uh, kind of, but then it stops. That's not what I need. You know, one interesting thing I found with 1.18 is that there's actually a lot more mixed opinions than I thought. I thought universally 1.18 would be loved because it made Minecraft look so much more beautiful. But one big complaint I've seen from a lot of people actually is just that this new terrain is really hard to navigate sometimes. Like I said a few episodes ago, horses are pretty much useless now. Like imagine trying to move a horse across this landscape. It's much faster to, uh, to just use your feet. So, I don't know, maybe for the first time in Minecraft history, you know, walking is the new meta, I guess, instead of horses. I mean, we have elytras, but you know, you don't get those until after defeating the Ender Dragon, so it can take a while before you get there, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I definitely agree that the terrain can be slightly hard to navigate. I just think one thing that they can work on with the terrain generation is I'm glad that they made mountain generation even better and that mountains look great, but I don't think we need mountains there, there, and there, and just all over the place. I think we need more large flat areas, and I accidentally hurt the Enderman. Okay, let's do this. Whew, I'm protected now. He can't get me. Maybe he can. Where's the Enderman at? Come on. Take me on. Okay, I have to be really careful. This Enderman can do a lot of damage to me. I've only got iron armor. Enderman is so hard to fight with fire aspect because the fire makes them teleport away. Okay, we did it. Now let's get the heck out of here and finally start mining. If I don't find a cave soon, I'm just going to start digging straight down because I don't want to be out here with all these bad monsters trying to attack me. Okay, maybe this is what we're looking for? Does it go deep? Hmm, maybe. Let's see. Oh! Oh, it does! There we go, okay. So, here's here's the game plan. Number one priority is diamonds. And diamonds still spawn below Y level 16. Uh, and they go all the way down to Y level negative 64. Now, I don't really need... Iron, I don't really need gold, but gold is always nice. I don't really need coal. I don't really need anything. The only thing I'm really looking for is diamonds, but I will occasionally grab uh, a little bit of some other ores. The only reason I'm saying this is because, you know, if I miss, like, an iron ore or a gold vein or something, I'm not too concerned. But if I miss diamonds, that's when, uh, that's when I get a little sad. So let's try to navigate our way down to the bottom, if we can, and hopefully we can find some diamonds down there. Whoa, this is really weird. The, uh, the copper and stone right next to the copper and deep slate. Just in and out like this. I don't know, it looks kind of cool though. I'm a fan of dripstone caves, but, uh, I don't know. I feel like almost all the caves I've come across now, like the large caves, are dripstone caves. I don't come across any, like, large normal caves, which, you know, would, would be nice. And I still have yet to find a lush cave. I'm glad lush caves are rare because, you know, they're pretty, they're valuable, they have some nice loot in them. Not necessarily valuable loot but you know just a lot of the plants are nice to build with and to decorate your world however i wish that i don't know lush caves spawned a bit more 
I, you know, I've really been struggling to find lush caves. I've been looking for them, but I don't know. I still haven't found them yet. I want some blocks and lush caves to build with, and since I don't have them, I can't make some builds I want, and it's just a little frustrating. So I hope that in the future, lush caves are just a little bit easier to come by. Okay, our Y level's already negative 15, so looks like we're uh, making some good progress getting low. Now, people have told me a lot of different Y levels, best Y levels for mining diamonds. A lot of people say around Y level negative 50-ish or so, and so I guess I'll try that, but I'm not really going to strip mine. My main mining method here is just going to be running around caves and hoping I stumble across diamonds. That's pretty much what I do. Just because 1.18 is still pretty new, we don't really know the the meta for mining, what the best mining methods are. You know, previously in 1.17, we had the lapis method, which was pretty reliable and actually got me a lot of diamonds, but that doesn't really work with the newest update, and so it's just a little bit hard. We'll, we'll be back for you later. We'll head down there. I want to explore this big deep slate area first and see if maybe we can find ourselves any diamonds, but looks like there's at least a lot of gold, which, oh, there is diamonds, but I was going to say gold, of course, I always like, so I'll get the gold too. I've got an okay amount of golden apples right now, but I'm always down for more. Okay, don't really see any diamonds in my view. I definitely prefer looking for diamonds in these deep slate caves because since I am, uh, I'm colorblind. And <laughs> the diamonds are much easier to pick out in deep slate than in stone. And, oh, well, it was only two diamonds, but, oh, we only got two diamonds. Looks like our, our fortune was not in our favor that time. Hopefully, we get a bit luckier. Oh, okay, well, there's another, oh, oh, whoa, what's going on? Okay, maybe they're not veins of diamonds, though. It might just be one or two pieces of diamonds. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, our fortune still has yet to work. Okay, that time it worked. That time we got two diamonds. I guess fortune two isn't as crazy as fortune three, but I still thought it was maybe a little bit better. At least we're getting a few extra diamonds. Okay, we have seven so far. That's pretty good. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Okay. We're oh, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. No, no, no. <gasps> okay. Oh, <laughs> that made me really nervous. I thought that was going to be the end of me for a second. I'm trying to be very, very careful because there's all these corners that are sort of hidden and it's making it really hard to see. Also, since I have my brightness artificially inflated, I keep forgetting that uh, placing torches might be might be a bit useful. I don't want my game full bright, but for whatever reason, whenever I even slightly artificially increase the brightness, previously it would just make the game a bit brighter, but now it pretty much just turns it on full bright. I'm not sure if it's a thing with 1.18 or maybe some of the mods I have downloaded. I don't know, but, you know... It's just, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I hate ba- No! What? What? Not two baby zombies. I, baby zombies are my least favorite. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. He's doing a lot of damage to me. This is a little scary. Okay. I keep cutting it close. I need to, I need to be a bit more careful here. Maybe I'll actually start using my shield for once. We have yet to find a big vein of diamonds in this world. We've only found these, like, little tiny one, two, three veins of diamonds. I want another big, beefy vein of diamonds. Give me, like... Give me eight diamonds or something. Come on, Minecraft. This is a really nice big cave, though. It might be good for a cave base in the future. I definitely want to make a... Not necessarily a cave base, but I think, like, a cave village would be really cool. I did it a while ago in a hardcore series I made during the uh, during the 1.17 pre-releases. It was a really cool concept, but I didn't execute it the best. And I'd like another shot at it. I think it could make for some pretty awesome builds. Oh, and there was a diamond right above me. Oh, hey, another one. There we go. Yeah, the fortune has only given us one extra diamond so far, which is a little unfortunate, but again, like, it's an extra diamond, so I guess I can't really complain. Ooh, we're in this new big cave, and there's some even more diamonds. Is it just two? Well, we're at 14, which is pretty good. We need 24 for a full set of armor, which is my goal, and anything beyond that is just gonna be extra. A lot of these caves are just full of deep slate, and so it's, it's honestly really hard for me to tell where I am. Or if I'm in a new area that I haven't been in before. I guess if I was using torches, it would be a bit easier to navigate. But I don't know. I keep getting lost. I keep ending up on old paths and in old caves. But I think I think this one's a new one. Oh, no, no. This is, this is definitely a new cave. And our Y level is pretty good. We're already at negative 40. So hopefully there's going to be some diamonds in here too. I don't know. Diamonds just seem pretty rare. I mean, diamonds have always been rare. But I normally don't struggle at all to find diamonds. And in 1.18... It's the first time I've truly struggled. Maybe because I'm not at the right Y level. Maybe I should be strip mining. I don't really know. Oh, and speaking of diamonds, there's a diamond. The glow squids caught my eye and then I saw the diamond. So thank you, glow squids. Oh, and there's two. Any more? Nope. Still two is the max vein we've found so far. 
And we're at 18, which which is pretty good. We're almost there, so we don't need too many more diamonds. I know we can do it. I know we're struggling, but we can do it. I've been in this cave, or in these caves, for a long time now, but... Oh. What? Wasn't I just... Okay. Uh, but thanks to the magic of editing, it, it probably hasn't been that long for you guys. Now I'm getting psyched out. I keep seeing, like, lapis or... Oh, wait, that is a diamond. I was gonna say glow lichen and thinking it's diamonds, but that actually is a diamond. Okay. But this, this is definitely glow lichen. Again, it's the color blindness fooling me. See, like, is that glow lichen or is that diamond up there? I really can't tell. I think it's glow lichen. Definitely glow lichen. Okay, and... Oh! Whoa! Is that possible? With fortune 2? Well, anyways, we're at 22 now, so, uh, hopefully we only need one or two more diamonds and we're gonna be at our goal. A couple extra diamonds beyond that would still be nice, though, just because, you know, I don't have any mending yet, and in case we need to repair any of our tools or armor or anything, uh, a few extra diamonds would be really nice to do that. I'm also probably gonna try to get to 39 levels instead of 38, just because, like, why not? That way I'll just be able to do an extra enchantment. We can enchant every piece of armor if I wanted to. Ooh, okay, this one's, this one's a little scary. You know, I was complaining that our diamond luck was bad, but actually, compared to the amount of time that I've been spending mining today, compared to the amount of diamonds we have, it's actually not that bad. It's only a little bit less than what I would get, you know, before 1.18. So honestly, I'm not too mad because these big, beautiful caves are at least something nice to look at when mining versus the old, small, and boring caves we had. I'd say it's a fair trade-off. I've just been killing and mining anything that'll give me XP, and honestly, it seems to be working because we're almost at 39 levels. Oh, I just came up to this top area over here because skeletons were fighting me, and I didn't realize, but it's a skeleton spawner. I probably won't make a farm out of it just because... Ooh, a name tag. Uh, just because I already have an XP farm, so I don't really like have a use for that, but hey, I mean, it's still pretty awesome to find one. Skeleton farms can be quite useful, though. I know, like, personally, sometimes I'll use them to, uh, get lots of bone meal for a farm I want, or, you know, just, like, getting some arrows from them, some bows, and, oh, okay. More diamonds, but it's being guarded. Let's take them out, and let's grab the diamonds. Come on, we can do it. Come here, boy. Oh, I missed. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, and we're at 39 levels. I didn't even realize. Okay, sweet. So, now we'll be able to enchant all of our armor. And with these two diamonds, we should be able to make all of our armor. Hopefully, we at least get one or two extras for mining these, though. Let's see. And we're at 26. Okay, that's perfect. 24 to make the armor. And then it leaves us two left over to do any potential repairs we might need to. So, I think that's pretty successful. I think I'll just quickly run down this cave really fast. Uh, but if it leads to more big caves, which it's looking like it does, I'll probably just head back up to the overworld. I don't know, I guess we'll spot our curse around a little bit and see if we see if we find any diamonds, but yeah, it doesn't look like we'll get lucky, so now it's time to uh, somehow find our way back to the uh, overworld. I'm not sure where we are, and we're really deep down, so it might take us a little bit. On the bright side, right up here is a, a, an amethyst geode. Okay, uh, let's, I guess while we're here, okay, let's do this. We'll pick at the amethyst, which I believe fortune does work for amethyst shards. Just because, uh, you know, they're nice to have. And we'll come back here and maybe sometime in the future we'll make an amethyst farm. There's actually multiple ways to do it. There's a way to do it with pistons. And there's a way to do it with water. Both are actually fairly good methods. But, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna want these because amethyst blocks are super fun to work with. Also, calcite is a really nice block if you use it in conjunction with diorite. Well, I just came up to the surface and actually, with those snowy peaks, I'm pretty sure we're right at spawn, aren't we? Was that the first tree we took down? Oh no, there it is, because there's the beehive that was in it that I never touched. Okay, yeah. Oh yes, and there's our beautiful large bridge in the distance, and just during sunrise. Amazing, that was beautiful. That was a pretty successful mining trip. I mean, we have 26 diamonds. I got a little bit of iron, a four stacks of, pretty much five stacks of copper, a wandering trader spawning right before my eyes, and we have a decent amount of gold as well. Let's see, do you have any good trades, sir? I'm also going to kill you for your, uh... No, he doesn't. I'm also going to kill him for his leads, just because you can never get too many. Honestly, the only way I really end up getting leads in my Minecraft worlds is from killing these wandering traders. I swear, it's the best method. <laughs> like, I at least check out their trades, but I mean, like, what? They're going to despawn after a few minutes anyways. There's no there's no use in uh, letting them live. I usually let the llamas live, though. No need to hurt the animals. 
Actually, I'm gonna steal one more llama from my stables up here, and then we'll head back. Dang, these llamas run fast! Look, I'm sprinting at full speed, and that llama in the back is keeping up with me. This is terrifying. Almost there, we're almost there. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, let's just put him on a post right there, boom. Okay. Um, now, actually, so here's the thing. Oh, okay, no. I'm not sure if these llamas despawn or not. Maybe if I put a lead on them, they don't? Uh-oh. He's mad now. He hurt my horse. How'd... Oh, and they're hurting sheep. Look at them. These... Oh, I'm gonna end up hurting myself. These llamas are menaces. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go back, make our new armor, enchant it, and I guess just hope for the best. It would have also been nice to have enough diamonds for an extra diamond pickaxe, so I could maybe get Unbreaking 3 on this, or Efficiency 5, Fortune 3. Obviously, the God Pickaxe is the future goal, but, you know, it's fine. For now, I think we're okay. I'll probably do some more mining live streams or videos upcoming in the future. I haven't live streamed in this world yet, but I probably will pretty soon. I just wanted to get the series sort of established before I started doing some live streams on it. Alright, so we have the full set of diamond armor, our two extra diamonds, and we have the diamond horse armor, which I'm gonna put on our trusty steed, Loki, just because I want to keep him as best protected as I can. Okay, so let's see what kind of enchantments we can get on here. Depth Strider 3 for the boots, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2, Unbreak... Let's do the pants with Unbreaking 3, and... Ooh, we got Protection 3, okay. Pretty good Protection 3 and Breaking 3, not the best, but it's still pretty good. Uh, let's go for the Thorns 2 on the chest plate. Okay, Thorns 2, Protection. Protection 3 for this one as well. Maybe we'll get full... Full Prot 3? Uh, let's just do it. Okay! We're out of levels. Let's see what we have. Depth Strider, Fire Protection, pretty good. Normally on my first set of Diamond Armor, I just enchant them to like level 1 enchantments, but we had the XP and I have the XP farm, so I figured, hey, why not? So let's check it out. Depth Strider, Fire Protection, this is actually really nice. I typically like to have Fire Protection on one piece of armor sometimes. You know, it depends, especially earlier on in game when I don't have full prot 4 and a bunch of golden apples just because if i do accidentally fall in the fire especially when exploring the nether or something like that it's really useful and then prot 3 on everything else which again is great thorns i'm not a huge fan of just because it does wear down your durability faster however if i get unbreaking 3 and mending on my chest plate then we should be pretty good but prot 3 on three pieces of armor gives us a really good amount of protection, so I don't think we really have to worry about dying anytime soon. Okay, now let's give our good buddy Loki some armor as well. He deserves it. And... Come here, buddy. Oh, he went away. No. We'll put this armor on you. Boom, there you go. And he looks great. Okay, sweet. Now he's protected and... Okay, I guess... The llamas do despawn. Oh, no, the llamas are just chilling down in the valley. Okay. They didn't despawn. I guess they just escaped. And with that, that's all for today's episode, guys. I'm really excited because now that we have our full set of diamond armor, it's not perfect yet, but we are pretty well protected, which means I'm going to be doing a lot of gathering, resource gathering, and we can hopefully embark on some pretty big and pretty awesome build projects really soon. Today, we didn't really build anything, but that's because in the future, I'm getting prepared for some pretty awesome build projects. If you guys want to see me build anything, though, let me know down in the comments below. But like I said, that's all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. But my name is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.